So I just went to my local grocery market with hopes of loading up on vitamin A rich botanicals and I just came to some information that said vitamin A is a toxin, not a vitamin, and I'm killing myself. What else is new? Let's discuss it. So basically I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all of it. Just every time there's always some new piece added to the mystery puzzle of how to get healthy. And then it's like, oh, by the way, this. So many years ago, actually, some guy reached out to me, Grant Jeanneroux, that's your name. And he, he wrote a book on this and he studied it hardcore saying that vitamin A is not a vitamin. It's a toxic compound. Accutane breaks down into retinol, retinoloic acids. <laughs> Quote me on all of this. <laughs> and it's like the side effects from Accutane, people who take that for antibiotics, acne, I know what I'm doing. It's like the same side effects as vitamin A poisoning. And no matter what you eat, if it's liver, plant-based, beta carotene rich carrots, cantaloupes, my favorite, or supplementing toxic vitamin A, retinol acid. Same shit, all poison, we're gonna die. So let's just entertain this theory for a second. Vitamin A, not a vitamin, it's toxic. That means, do you have any idea? Like, okay, we're talking egg yolks, liver, almost every fruit and vegetable, all the greens. I was looking up, like, what could I, within my realm, because I feel pretty good doing what I'm doing now, which is like vegetable juice, fruit juice, meat. It's like a paleolithic type of thing and it's working and I don't want to change too much, but I wonder, minor little things like are the forehead bumps caused by vitamin A toxicity? They could be, and I do have redness in my face, could be related. So what could I do to remain in this realm that I'm doing now, but Remove vitamin A. Celery, it's high. Cantaloupes, I love them. High. Lower, watermelon, still super high. There's almost nothing. Honeydew melons, somewhat low. Apples, I think, and grapes. Even if I do that, say I replace the celery, so I have a cucumber lemon juice, honeydew melon, and grape and apple juice, followed by meat, no organs, no eggs, no butter, no ghee. Ghee, the yellow stuff, anything yellow, throw it out. I could do it. I would still be at like a 100% limit of my vitamin A, but it's less than my 5 million percent I'm getting now. I tell ya, when I was first starting the 80-10-10 shit, I was looking up chronometer for the first time. I'd never done it before and I was like, that's a lot of vitamin A. It was like 5,000%, like it looked like, wow, that's bad. And people are asking Doug Grams, like, is this a problem? He's like, no, no, you're crazy. Body just gets rid of it, does it? Apparently we store it in our skin because it's so toxic. People get yellow on the carrot juice. I need help. I tell you, there's two ways I think about this. One, it's a complete nonsense scam bullshit. People are eating all kinds of fruits and vegetables. Nobody's dying from vitamin A poisoning. It's not even a thing. That's the way I lean. But my second side is curious. Well, what if? What if? I'm not just gonna fall for it though. Like, oh yeah, you're right. And then remove all vitamin A rich. Like I kind of want to, knock it down a bit and see if I feel any difference, but I do find it weird that I still get acne after all this time eating healthy. And it's like, it could be a missing piece. I mean, liver, if your liver's clogged up, you're getting skin issues. Why is my liver clogged up when I'm juicing fruits and vegetables healthy? They're supposed to be cleansing the liver. It could be all the beta carotenes building up retinolic ac acutanic acid forming in my genital region and that it hurts 
and it's embarrassing. So I'm not sure if I should fall for this one. It's your responsibility to save me from myself because this sounds kind of intriguing and I might remove some vitamin A rich foods. So you're responsible here to tell me if it's true or not. Tell me down below, does this make sense or is it the dumbest theory of all times? Why did that pause? Is it the vitamin A buildup in the left hemisphere? I can feel it. Oh, my brain is yellow. It's yellowing. My teeth could be yellow because of the vitamin A buildup. I brush them with barbed wire. So why isn't that helping? I don't know why. So let me know. Someone told me the other day about this guy, Nutrition Detective, online. I watched one of his live streams. I like him. He doesn't look like he's like a health nut. He's, well, I, I don't get you guys. You know all this stuff, but it doesn't look like you practice what you preach. You should be lean, monkey strength-like in your physique, full head of hair, just glowing with vitamin A acids in the face. That's why you lost your glow. Vitamin A is healthy. I just, I determined it. So I'm going to load up on vitamin A keratin rich foods from now on. I have gotten myself some low vitamin A stuff. These are low honeydews. Watermelons are somewhat low. Bananas, apples. So I'm humoring you with your theory, but I just, I have a feeling you're you're missing a huge piece of this puzzle. It's not what you think. It's not vitamin A is toxic, beta carotene is toxic. There's some other thing you're completely missing because fruits, they're not like other plants that are producing anti-nutrients to defend themselves. They want to be eaten. And so many fruits are high in beta carotene. I said that really weird. Oh boy, they're taking effect in my brain. So they want to be eating. Beta carotene is just protecting from the sun to not burn the seed. Oh, so you're wrong, but I'll humor you with those. Someone's vacuuming outside now. That's good. It symbolizes my body cleaning up the vitamin A toxicity through my new dietary path. So let me know down below if it makes sense or not. If you've read any research that confirms or denies it. Let me know. Post it down below. After you thumb up the video, of course. Just thumb it up. Thumbs down. If you're gonna vacuum your attic later, but you were dumb enough to buy a corded vacuum and there's no plugs up in the attic, you're a moron. I just bought a corded vacuum I've been using the corn broom for a while and it doesn't seem to pick up the dust. So I bought a vacuum, I, I caved in, and I don't want to use it because it's stupid. It has a cord. I spilt a little dirt and I was like, oh, I'll just vacuum that up. The thought of bringing it out, unwinding the cord, plugging it in somewhere and then doing all that for a little dirt. So I live in filth now because I made a bad purchase. And so I have to take it back. It's raining outside. So should I get it? Which brand of vacuum is best? Post that down below as well. It's a bad time to start. Every day they do it, but it looks dirty. I'm gonna go after you subscribe.